Okay, again, here's Mexico City. This is where the epicenter of the earthquake was located. You can see it's down towards the south and east, close to city, likely about Puebla, but you've got some other communities also inside this area that were likely impacted by this particular earthquake. You've got some video there that you can see on the other side of the screen. Uh, again, we've been seeing video and photos come in of damage from some of these places. Uh, you know, everything from uh, parts of buildings that have fallen down. Uh, you know, obviously you've got some uh, power poles that can come down, things like that. The question is, what is the extent of the severe damage? That's what we need to wait to kind of find out with this particular earthquake, what actually occurred. Again, 7.1 earthquake, about 75 miles to the southeast of Mexico City. As you recall, uh, it'll be two weeks uh, this coming Thursday that we just had an 8.1 earthquake in Mexico. So uh, again, uh, the earthquake is on a lot of these people's minds. It's still fairly fresh from just having had an earthquake, not in this exact same spot per se, but in Mexico. They just had an 8.1 earthquake that unfortunately had fatalities with it. Again, it will be two weeks to the day coming up this Thursday for that particular quake. So again, that's going to be something um, that we kind of have to keep in mind with this particular earthquake. Brooke? Allison, just quickly, I'm glad you brought up the 8.1 from two weeks ago. Was that in a different part of Mexico? It was. It was. It okay. was not in this particular location. Um, again, but it was large enough that uh, the amount of people that felt it was actually pretty widespread. Just yeah. like this one, when you start getting to those numbers where they're in the sixes, the sevens, and the eights, the area that it can spread out is pretty large. So you don't have to be near that epicenter to encounter some damage.